Good afternoon, friends. It is going on 4.30, and I felt like making my next dessert um, treat on my baking list, which um, I have right here. Now, the last one I made turned out really good. That was a Coffee Cat Cosmic Brownies, Little Debbie. And today, we're going to make peanut butter crispy rice squares so yes if peanut butter is involved sign me up i'm there front and center um this is from uh, probably yeah food network magazine probably one that i thrifted um i will go through them i love finding them at a thrift store i haven't found one in a while um I, but that's that's okay because i have a pile still upstairs to go through so <laughs> I, I don't have a problem. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I need to like find the time, sit down, and flip through them. Um, if there's just like one or two recipes in the magazine, I will rip them out. But if there's like a good chunk, I will just keep the magazine. Um, I think this one only had a few, and I just ripped them out. And that's next right there. We're going to do that. Um, whoop, making a mess. Um, so you need bread. I was going to say bread crumbs, not bread, not bread crumbs, graham cracker crumbs. So I just put graham crackers in the Ziploc bag and I'm getting my frustrations out. It's cheaper just to buy a box of your graham crackers and get your frustrations out. That's all. Alright, I think we're good to go. Um, I do need two and a half cups and I think that is just about two and a half. Cups. If not, it's close enough. Yes. And of course, you need your peanut butter and your Rice Krispies and your butter. And this one uses mini marshmallows. So it's 16 ounces, and I had to ask Alexa um, to convert that into cups for me, and it is two cups. And then, being the polite Canadian I am, I said thank you to a machine. <laughs> Anybody else, you know, say thank you to their Alexa. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, we're just polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you just can't help it. It's like, okay, thank you. Um, and, and that's it. And one cup of milk chocolate chips, which I think I have. So I'm going to find my baking dish and get that ready. And then everything is done over on the stove. All right, so it says to line your pan with parchment paper, so that's what I did. To make it easy peasy, and you don't really have to clean clean your pan. Um, all right, I have everything I need. It also calls for a half a cup of salt, so I grabbed that. Half a cup, oh my gosh, wow, no. Half a teaspoon, don't mind me. I did have my coffee, but apparently it didn't work. <laughs> like, at least I got myself, yeah, half of a teaspoon teaspoon of salt okay so in a large pot over medium heat melt the butter uh, two cups of mini marshmallows then your salt and you cook until the marshmallows are nice and melted and smooth and then you remove it from the heat and you add everything else so um all right let's head to the stove now all right so six tablespoons of butter I have my butter sticks but uh, I was just one tablespoon short because I had one butter stick already started so I'm going to add just a little bit more if I can. <laughs> I just took it out the fridge. There we go. All right. And it also might help if I turn on the stove. Yes. So I'm gonna leave this up because we'll need it for like our toast and whatnot. Two cups of mini marshmallows going in for a swim with the butter. I'll let that melt. And I already have a box of the Rice Krispies ready to go from last time. I made them on Canada Day, and let me tell you, they did not make it past Canada Day because they were ooey gooey and so good and so fresh. And honestly, I can eat a whole pan of Rice Krispie squares. And if you add peanut butter to it, yeah, you bunch of bottom dollar, that pan's gonna disappear. Your blanket's gonna be gone. 
Okay, I have my salt. That's going in. And I think we're looking good. Just turn off the heat. And back to the counter we go. All right, so six tablespoons of peanut butter. One. Actually, I'm going to grab a knife. There we go. Two. Three. The most there. Hello. Hello from Henry. I think I was really generous on that one. <laughs> and six. Get every little bit. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I feel good. And also, I forgot to mention vanilla. Um, two teaspoons. All right. One, two. And mix that up. And add the Rice Krispies and the graham crackers. So six and a half cups of Rice Krispies. Just gonna do the half. I'm going to need some for my next recipe also, so actually, I was going to say what if I had any left over, I'd save it for that recipe, but nope, I think that's just enough. Toss it in. Well, I'm going to keep, keep the bag so I'll use that for next time I need to crush up jam crackers. Okay, and just mix that around. They must while you're at it too. Alright, so I decided not to put the chocolate chips in this time because I think we would like it with the chocolate chips. Um, but you can for sure add them when you are adding the graham crackers and the rice krispies. And mix it all together and just press it down in your pan. It does have to chill in the uh -huh, in the fridge for an hour, so we can't take a bite. Um, yeah, not like your regular crispy squares. You just have to let it sit for a few minutes, and you can, you know, dig right in. But this one, oh, it'll be worth the wait. It looks really good. So I'm going to toss it into the oven, and yeah, hopefully it. Um, fingers crossed that it turns out. All right, I think we are ready. It wasn't in the fridge for a whole hour, maybe 45 minutes, um, but it looks ready and it looks like, you know, it's sticking better. So let's cut a piece, 
take a little taste test and um, probably eat the whole pan. Mm. I got my cutting boards and look at this magic. Ooh, magic. And it says clean, there's just a few pieces in there. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell peanut butter. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, look at that. Mm. All right, I'm gonna grab a knife and we'll cut a piece. Okay, there might be some pieces that crumble. <laughs> right, that's okay. Mm. Oh, that's good. I swear to God, it's crumbly. Oh, yeah, you made that one again with it. Mm hmm. But it's really good. All right, so as you can probably tell, gee, that looks like a flop. That looks like it didn't work out. And yes, <laughs> it did not work out. I followed the recipe to a T. And that's what I usually do with a new recipe. And if I have to tweak it, I will tweak it. This is a recipe you definitely have to tweak. I did save it though, because I just melted more butter and marshmallows. I used a full bag of mini marshmallows, plus the two extra cups that I did when I first started the recipe um, that I added. So, needless to say, it's really good. I'm gonna cut a two at Hello from Henry. Um, it just needed the extra marshmallows, but. Is it, is it ready to eat? Yes, I'm gonna cut it. Um, so yeah. Now when I was making it, and I had two cups of mini marshmallows, and I'm mixing it, and I'm like, there's no way this is enough, you know, but it's like, okay, we'll see. And, and then it's like, okay, well, I put it in the pan, and it's like, okay, well, maybe, you know, it has to go in the fridge so everything sticks together, and maybe after that, okay, it'll, be, it'll work Wait, out, but. Big yeah, not a full bag. Um, and, and it's like, okay, maybe, maybe, you know, it'll be okay, but no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> So, um, I probably will make this again, but I will half the recipe in half. I won't put in as much um, graham crackers. And I know, like, oh, you could just add the butter to a regular Rice Krispie recipe, the peanut butter, I mean. You could just add that. I I, I know that. But I wanted to see, okay, well, what does it taste like with, you know, crushed up graham crackers in it? And actually, it's really good. So, um, next time I make, make this, I'll half the graham cracker crumbs and the rice crispy rice crispies because it was just too much and not enough liquid yeah so that's why i had to um everybody back in the <laughs> back in the pot and mingle again yeah so let's cut it up i have to grab another knife and we'll cut it up but see that you know not every recipe is going to work exactly the way it's written sometimes you have to tweak them and that's tweak not twerk <laughs> And um, there's a big mess. Somebody made a big mess on the stove and on the floor. There's crisp rice krispies all over the place. I'm not sure who made that mess. So. <laughs> all right, so deja vu. Oh, my ring light cord. Okay, and uh, oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it sticks a lot better. That's not falling apart like it did before. <laughs> All right, cheers. Mm. I could, I could, mm hmm. Now it's extra gooey because I added more marshmallows. And <laughs> you can really taste the peanut butter. 
And I do like the graham crackers. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Alright, so I'm glad I was able to say it, but it wasn't a total flop, I honestly thought it was going to be. But then after dinner, I went upstairs and watched another episode of Cold Case. And I thought, oh, I could just toss everything in a pot, melt, melt more butter, um, marshmallows, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> mm hmm. That worked. Mm hmm. Want to see a magic trick? I'm gonna make this disappear. <laughs> so are my kids. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for this video. The light, I don't know why there's a beam, but beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Alright, it's you know it's happening. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're going to enjoy this. And it will not last long. But I uh, will definitely do that next time I make them and Ooh. just cut back, cut the recipe in half, um, I'll be good to go. And there goes another piece. Ooh. Oh, gooey. That's the best kind. Oh, yeah, it fits. Yeah. It's slowly falling apart. Yeah, it's falling apart a little bit, but not as much as last time. Oh, cool. Look it's at that. I don't let it set. The goo. Cool. Yeah, nice and gooey. I didn't let it sit for a long time. I like, I let it sit for a little bit, but I need to sit for a little longer. But I can't wait. I'm impatient. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. Video. Take care. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. I really, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next fun video. Alright, ta-ta for now. Bye.